answer. Game on, so it's time to go. When the rain starts, so I'ma let you know. Name a squad that is better, though, than my whole team. We a pot of gold. I'm a dog, dog. I'ma need a bone for my whole team. I'ma let it go like, blah. yeah. And it feel like, Ooh. yeah. All day like, Ooh. yeah. All night like, Ooh. yeah. Whole squad like, Ooh. what? And it feel like, Ooh. yeah. All day like, Ooh. yeah. I was waiting to shine. My father taught me don't be soft, so now I'm taking what's mine. I define myself as ambitious, young black and gifted. Master P, my masterpiece. That mean I don't got no limits. Body, body, I doubt it. My homies know you ain't riding. We break you down like a pound. I got it. Your pound is around me. I'm corrupted. Flow cold and it's rugged, bumpy. What is up? I'm ready for all you got to love it. Like, black, yeah. And it feel like, ooh, yeah. All day, like, ooh, yeah. Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the sold-out M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we continue on in Wild Card Weekend with a great AFC matchup between the New York Jets and the Baltimore Ravens. The battle for the Lamar Hunt Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC Wild Card game.
down. AT Gator. I'm scared. Recon, 132. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Mostert. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Hey, Sam off. This is Monster. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Moster. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Now Moster, and he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Let him know. Go, go. Let him know, let him know. 56, Mike, 56. Out of the gun now on third down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And it's a touchdown from the Jets. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. But it was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Hurry, hurry. Get it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Jordan Reed has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Here's Moster. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. <laughs> nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Check, check. Walk 54. Walk 54. They're going to need some therapy. 
On play action, they'll throw. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Back to throw. The battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Going deep downfield for Ross. This is caught inside the 15. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 54 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Jets will extend their lead. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you give the defensive touchdown early to give you the first score, and then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, we've had that conversation with them prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off near the 44. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. Second and nine. Mahomes eluding the pressure right. This will be caught inside the 10. The end result, 21 yards. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Forced out to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Second down and goal. Mahomes flush to his right. He's good. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Fourteen, nothing. The score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. the five-yard line. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Mahomes going to go on fourth down, escaping the pressure right. And it's going to be batted 
down and will go the other way with the football. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Ravens come up big down at their own goal line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Second and 14. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And able to get a little more breathing room out to the five-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it third down and ten. Bravo! They'll set up the throw. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there. Time to force it. He felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. That could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good. This is caught inside the 15. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 42 yards. Operating from the red zone now. Mahomes steps away to his left. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On second down, Swift. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line, Willie Henry. In there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. And the kick by Rosas is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end, and that's going to be another first down as the 25-yard line. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs.
Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Watch the 66. Pull it high. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. This is caught. A Hall of Fame coach once said, there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all out. Any weapon. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football. Full half to be played. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. You've got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They'll get 34 yards there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Working from the gun, Mahomes dancing to his left. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. And give credit to Reuben Foster, the linebacker, getting a hand in to disrupt. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now Mahomes. Flushed out right. He'll let this go for the end zone. As his guys are in for six. And the Jets will extend their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They'll look to throw here. He's going to let this one go. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 49. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 13. 
And these guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. One timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC Wild Card game. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Swift. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes, polluting the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down now. Swift and forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. He's gonna fire this thing deep. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The big man, P.J. Hall, had the path to the QB there. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. On second and goal, Mahomes, they'll try and run it. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven, third and goal. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up four. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Rosa's kick is good. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense... The way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. 
And he is out of bounds here on the return. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. There he goes left side. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens cut into that lead. Bullock good on the extra point. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Well, that's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They go play action. Now Mahomes on the move to his left. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Schwartz. His second catch in this wild card game and it goes for a first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Now a play fake here on first down. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A big play there. 54 yards. And the Jets will extend their lead. Now Adam Gase has put a pair of fingers up in the air. His offense is going to go for two. I got him. Yellow, yellow. I tell her, tell her. Zero, 15. To throw, it's Mahomes. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercept and it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified it on him. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And that one blown up quickly. 
as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Let's go. Jack, you're out. Looking to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. The critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Going right side here, and that's complete. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it. With this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Now here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. In for the score. And the Jets will extend their lead. Rosas now to add the PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Makes the score Jets 42, Ravens 14. Aldrich Rosa set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They go play action here on first down. He's going to air one out. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 39. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. But well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's right. With the Eagles. That's right. Then gets it with the Eagles. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. As his guys are in for six. And the interception by the Jets' D leads to a touchdown. Look, we all know that sometimes we see upsets in the wild card round. But I have to tell you, in this case, I did not see that coming. I don't think anyone in the stadium saw it coming. You and I were coming in before the game. There was a couple in front of us talking about travel plans for next weekend. They might want to cancel those. Yeah, I would say so because right now it's looking more and more that they're going to be one and done. They're probably trying to call the hotel, make sure they get their security deposit back. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. It looked to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. He's going to let one fly for Tate. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off 
off at the 28. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you? It's caught inside the 25. Big yardage that time for the Jets. And even 50 yards. First down, New York. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. And give credit to Reuben Foster, the linebacker, getting a hand in to disrupt. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incomplete. Third and 10. Hey, 57, 57. Check 9, check 9. 64. 64. 64. 64. Mahomes to throw once more. Escaping the pressure right. That's going to be caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try to run for it on first and goal. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Mahomes now to throw, being chased out left. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. The all-pro linebacker, Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Here's Mahomes to throw, and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. He scored on the ground and through the air as his guys continue to pour it on. PAT up and good by Rosas, and the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Check out. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now back to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. The catch, deservedly so, is going to get a lot of credit, but even more so because there's a defender there ready to make a play. Yeah, just flat-out muscled on that one. 
And now here is another interception. Picked up by Jamal Agnew. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. The number seven, usually lucky here, not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And he's got the lane, and there he goes. And he will get into the end zone. It's another. This thing is ugly. Well, they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? Rosas good with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. The Ravens take over first and at their own 25 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out yeah, here. Use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing the whole... He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Raheem Mostert saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Ravens are able to make things a bit more respectable. They'll try and throw for him. And this is caught, so they do get the two. Still a very large deficit, but maybe something to feel a little better about. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And the Jets have got it. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. You better be ready. Yellow. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Steps away to his left. This is caught. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. The Ravens take over Let's go, at their own 25 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Ravens, they claw one back. 
Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. Well, fourth quarter, they felt we like they this. needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And analytics into the game and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick 80 percent of the time the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten Mahomes going to throw it here. Flushed out right. There goes a deep ball. End zone. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Going deep downfield for Ross. That's going to be caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock gets all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Rosas good with the extra point. And that will extend this big lead. This will be taken very short. And he'll go down at the two-yard line. What a disaster there. At their own two-yard line. Come on, the Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because... Now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the field, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll